in Motion. It's Tuesday, October 27th. I'm Clint Lambert, the host today of Village in Motion, and it's my pleasure for us to have <clears throat> Pam Sutton, who is the Director of, of Resident Life, with us this morning to provide us some updates. Welcome, Pam. Thank you, and good morning. Good morning. What, you, what are you going to be telling us about Resident Life that's all new and different? Well, I guess that the first thing I'll start with is Channel 6, and hopefully mm. everyone has noticed that the signal's a lot clearer as they're watching Channel 2 and Channel 8, and and that they're noticing that um, that the, the picture is a lot sharper. Mm -hmm. um, we are finishing our final stages in terms of our HD conversion. A couple of minor little adjustments um, that we're still in the process of making, but overall things has, have gone over beautifully. You'll notice that the sync <laughs> in terms yes, of when people yes. are, are talking is yes. actually matching up yes. now. So we're really excited. I know it's been a long time coming. Um, we are still working on some of the audio, right? You know, because I know that there have been a, a few challenges there. Um, so, still a work in progress, but we are well on our way. And I'm really hoping that the residents have seen and appreciate the changes in the yeah, differences. Yeah, and I just hope residents are watching us. I mean, you know, watching yes. two, six, eight, fourteen. I mean, yeah. yes. And all the work that's gone into this has just been fabulous uh, in regards to it. Um, the, the one thing we need, though, and, and I'd say to all residents, is we need somebody that's a makeup person. Um, <laughs> we really do. I mean, yeah, they, they've got a clear, we've got a clearer picture, but, uh, the, you know, we need somebody to, to tone us down some <laughs> yeah, when we're on here. <laughs> I will get right on that, Clint. Um, let me see if we can have, we can find someone in the community that can actually work with yeah. Channel 6 and, and kind of, Work on the makeup. Work um, on the makeup. Absolutely, because yeah. you're right. Now that there's a, a clearer picture, we might want to consider yeah, that. Yeah, we see all the wrinkles now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. You know, hopefully I, I thought I covered up all of my wrinkles. <laughs> you always look great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We do also, for this week, at the end of the week, mm. we have a wonderful Halloween chocolate festival yes. that's going to be occurring in Hunter's Crossing. So we really encourage everyone to be there. That's going to be from 12 to 2, mm -hmm. and it's for residents and for staff. We're really hoping it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for everyone just to mingle and to engage. We encourage people to wear costumes. Yes. Um, honestly, I'm not sure what Dining Services is even offering, but I know that everything that they do, you know, they do to the highest right. degree of, of professionalism and taste. So I'm looking forward to some of those chocolate treats. Yes. So. Yeah, even though chocolate, National Chocolate Day is actually tomorrow. Yes. I mean, we're going to celebrate it on Friday in conjunction with Halloween, uh, Pumpkin Day uh, yes. celebration. So. Absolutely. Yes, Dining Services was kind enough to, uh, to collaborate with us and, yes. and be willing to kind of move their celebration. So we really do appreciate um, all of their support. And I do hope everybody comes down because I understand that Ben and Brian and, and Priscilla are going to be in costume. Uh, yes, they are. And, and are so you also? I am not, but oh. um, Community Resources, um, they actually, I think they got the delivery of their costumes a little over a week ago. Mm -hmm. So they're even hiding what they're wearing from <laughs> me. So <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone dressed right, up. Very good. And it sounds like it's really <clears throat> going to be a good time. Yeah. And so that's 12 to 2 on Friday. Hunter's Crossing Conference Center. Yes. All right. We also have coming up, so if, you know, perhaps some of the residents are looking for some of the CR team, um, they may be having a little bit of difficulty finding them because mm. we just have a lot of things yes. that, that's going on on campus soon. We have next Tuesday voting. So Evelyn is working diligently right. with Mrs. Henry just to get everything um, set for that. So that will also be occurring again right. in Hunter's Crossing Conference Center. We do actually have some of the machines have already been delivered hmm. and the signs have been delivered. So right. we're just simply working on mapping out the flow of traffic yes. to make it as easy and as smooth as possible and for I all the residents. And we will be using both elevators. Yes, you know, we will be, yes. So that people that need, <coughs> need elevators will be able to get them. Just simply follow the directions uh, in regards to that. So. Absolutely, and we actually have several volunteers that are actually going to be supporting us in that event mm -hmm. on Tuesday, so it should go very smoothly. That's our that's our hope, okay. that it will be seamless. Yes, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> but remember to vote. Absolutely, that's the key. Yes. Um, we also have our memory support um, program that's occurring on November 4th, mm -hmm. and that's going to be occurring also in Hunter's Crossing. I tell you, we've got a lot of stuff going yes. on over in that building this month. 
Um, it's a wonderful opportunity. It's open for all residents. It's going to be occurring from 12 to 3. Now, those that are actually looking for additional screening, mm -hmm. um, there is a sign-up process for that because we have approximately 50 slots. Mm -hmm. I'm actually not quite sure where we are right now in terms okay. of availability, um, but there are flyers throughout the bulletin boards. So please contact um, Kathleen Taylor just, you know, if you're interested in actually having a screening done at that same time. Okay. But wonderful activities going on, lots of tables of information. So, again, we really encourage the residents to come and sure. to participate with us. And, and I understand if you call um, rehab um, that you can set up an appointment via them, uh, and it takes about 15 minutes for your screening. Absolutely. Yes, so um, again, wonderful example of collaboration between our continuing care yes. and um, independent living. So it's always nice to see yeah. whenever we all are, are able to work together. Um, we also have going on, there's going to be Veterans Day celebration that's also going to be occurring um, November 11th. Mm. And so look forward to that. There yeah. should be some flyers up on all of the bulletin boards. Yes. Um, I'm sure by now, uh, speaking of the bulletin boards, that everyone has noticed the change. It, it is a little bit of a change, but what we're hoping is that the boards are much easier to read now. We've separated things from, um, from departments and mm -hmm. admin to all resident events to our faith groups, mm -hmm. and then of course there's still the section for resident right. council and for personal advertisements. But we tried to make the signs larger, a lot clearer to read, and we actually put borders around yes. each area so that when you're going up to the board, our hope is that you'll know exactly where to go exactly. rather than trying to kind of search aimlessly, which is what was occurring before. And it's, it's, it seems like the individuals who, who run the bulletin boards, who place the items in, I have put things that are more important lower uh, than they used to. You don't have to go searching around for the, the real highlights. Absolutely. We're trying to make sure that we're looking at everything from a standpoint of, you know, how our most is most of the information eye level. We want to make it as easy mm -hmm. to read and, um, and, and as smooth of a process for everyone. Sure. And so if there are any suggestions, if there's things that residents like or that they don't like about the bulletin boards, we certainly welcome okay. the feedback. Um, again, you know, our purpose for being here is to service you. So whatever changes you need us to make, please don't hesitate to stop by. Mm -hmm. For those people who don't know, my office is located in Village Square. Right. I'm right across the, directly across from the Village Store. Mm -hmm. So please don't hesitate to, to stop in. And or they can go to any of the community resource people, right? Absolutely. One in each community. There's one in each community, yes. Okay. So we're, we're still kind of looking at, um, at an easier location for our community resources coordinator that's in Hunters Crossing. Okay. I've, I've had some feedback that it's a little difficult kind of making it down to her <laughs> office, so we're looking at some options now. Okay, very good. But still within Hunters Crossing. Yes, right. But uh, anybody that needs uh, community resources, contact you directly or your office or, yes. or contact Anita or Evelyn or Kelly, right? Absolutely, yes. Okay. And, and they do have signs, so if they're not in their office, um, there's, they are on campus. So please don't hesitate to leave them a message, mm -hmm. either a phone message via email. You can always slide something under their door. Okay. Um, or you can certainly feel free to give me a call or my assistant, Beth. Okay, sounds great. What else is happening with resident life? Any other great new things? Oh, goodness, so many things. I, I would probably have to end up taking all of VIM <laughs> to talk about. We are in the process of looking at some, some changes and some additional programming things that we can do for 2016. Okay. So several of my departments now are working on their plans for what they would like to do in terms of resident um, participation involvement and programs for them. Um, I am in the process. I will be. I'm sure that several of the group leaders are kind of anxiously awaiting. So I will have my final meeting with my subcommittee for resident reimbursement oh, this week. What good. we're in the process of doing, and I will be um, posting an article in um, the Villager, um, because there were just a few corrections. Mm -hmm. um, I know that in our the, the most recent the publication, one. yes, that there was an indication that there would not be mm. reimbursement moving forward, and that isn't the case. Right. What we are doing is anything that's considered an amenity okay. for the campus, yes, we will continue to cover. 
What we would like to do is to set up guidelines, something similar to what the treasure chest was mm -hmm. doing yes. in, in before, so that resident groups will have an opportunity to submit information mm -hmm. to me. I do have our subcommittee, which is made of residents, that will be helping me to establish those Great. guidelines so that we're really getting the full input of the residents. Mm -hmm. And then based on those guidelines, that's where it will be determined whether people will receive. Yeah full reimbursement okay. or partial reimbursement for 2016 and moving forward. And so that will be coming out shortly then? That will be coming out shortly. So we will be meeting this week to talk about what those guidelines will be. When they're completed, mm -hmm. I will be submitting those to our resident life committee for approval yes. and then moving forward, then we'll actually make cubby stuffers okay, so great. that everyone will be aware of what the guidelines are. Okay. And that's something that's really necessary. I mean, it's, Absolutely. it's, it's really needed. And I'm, I'm so glad to hear you saying that you're almost through the process uh, yes. in regards to it. Uh, we have only about a minute left. Um, any pearls of wisdom? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably be asking you guys that. <laughs> I did just completely, uh, I just completed my year. So maybe I should ask that if there's any pearls of wisdom that any of the residents would like to share with me um, as you have been staying here in Green Spring, please don't hesitate to stop by and, and share those thoughts and those ideas with me. Well, we, we look forward to you spending many years with us and congratulations on your first year. You've, you've done a great job. We thank greatly you. appreciate it. And Pam, thank you so much for being on the show this morning and telling us about things going on with Resident Life and Community Resources. Thank you. It's always a privilege. Thank you.